Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman, and thank all our panelists for being here today. And uh, we're examining two bills, one to modernize the regulations for business development companies, or BDCs, and another is to revise the definition of an accredited investor. The BDC bill is very familiar to all of us in this Congress because we considered a similar bill in depth uh, in last Congress. Since then, I'm pleased to say that we've made some very good progress on this bill, and the draft that we're considering today reflects input from the Democratic side of the aisle, the Republican one, the SEC, and the BDC community. I am hopeful that we can all get to a yes on this bill, which would increase the availability of capital for small businesses, and it's an important bill for our economy. We will also consider a bill by Mr. Swikert to revise the definition of an accredited investor and how to draw the line between someone who is an accredited investor and someone who is not is one of the most difficult questions in all of securities law. An accredited investor is someone who, in the words of the Supreme Court, can, and I quote, fend for themselves and does not need the protections of the securities law. These sophisticated investors are allowed to buy unregistered securities, which are often more complex and riskier than public securities. Unregistered securities are also less liquid than public securities, which makes these investments in unregistered securities harder to exit or sell. As a result, these investments are supposed to be limited to investors who can legitimately bear the economic risk involved in buying them. These investors are referred to as accredited investors. Current law defines an accredited investor primarily by reference to a person's income or overall net worth. Someone whose annual income is greater than $200,000 is an accredited investor, or if someone's net worth, excluding the value of his house, is greater than a million dollars. So the question really is, does this strike the right balance? Is everyone who meets these tests truly able to fend for themselves? The SEC's Investor Advisory Committee recommended a new definition of an accredited investor last year that seeks to more accurately identify investors with enough financial sophistication to fend for themselves. And I think this proposal is a very good starting point for this discussion. I look forward to hearing a discussion of the benefits and drawbacks of the Investor Advisory Committee's proposal versus uh, Mr. Swikert's proposal. This is an important debate to have, uh, so I thank Mr. Swikert for putting it forward, and I would also like to thank Chairman Garrett for holding this hearing and all our panelists.